Hello everyone, welcome to day three and Shelley and I are joining you together today. We're doing this via Zoom so hopefully, fingers crossed this works, I know the connection it might look a little bit slow. So um, we are here, we will see if any of you jump on um, but we have got a couple of things that often are the questions that come out from people after they've kind of watched the first couple of videos um and kind of us talking about the opportunity so we thought that we would jump in and answer some of those and then as and when people jump on if you want to type any message uh, any questions that you've got in the comments and then we'll look at them and we will answer them as we go through so we won't yeah. be on here for too long but does that sound cool Shelley? can you hear me If you uh, can read out the questions, because it's just so hard for me, because I'm driving and I'm heading off to an event right now yeah. that um, I'm setting up for. So if you could read those off, that'd be awesome. Of course. Okay, cool. Well, I will go um, and ask the first question um, that that we've got here. So the first question is, uh, well, I'm already on my own fitness journey. So why is it that I should, you know, why should I jump into Beachbody? Are you asking me this, my dear? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this came this came from someone that was interested, but they said they've already um they're already doing health and fitness. They you know, they already go to the gym. Um so you know, they weren't sure whether this opportunity is for them because they're already doing other stuff. So, it's really up to you. Okay? The thing about being with Beachbody is you're helping other people on getting the gift that you got, you know, by doing a 30 minute workout, getting results, getting a nutrition plan and getting results, you know, going to the gym, a lot of people find that they're not getting the results that they want. So why don't you want to help someone else that is trying to or struggling or trying to get fit and beach body is a gift. Am I not right, Hannah? Absolutely. Gift, you know, and like helping other people. One thing is if you want to, if you want to be on a health and fitness journey and you love this journey, why don't you want to help someone else? That's a question I ask them, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's I think that's right. And I think I used to go to the gym and I was on my own journey, but I actually lacked a lot of knowledge to be able to push myself forward on my journey. And, I, you know, I didn't want to pay for a PT. PTs are expensive. Um, yeah. But, you know, okay, that's... That's the great thing about, you know, Beachbody is that you have all the nutrition stuff there as well. And you're right. It's it's about helping yourself and going on your own journey and sharing that. But it's also about helping other people. And we, we have the power to do that, which is awesome. Yeah. And you know what? I totally get it with this girl is saying because, you know, it took me two years before I decided to be a coach. Yeah. It took me two years. You know, I was on my own journey, but I needed to fill up my cup. That was what it was. Okay, I felt like I needed to fill up my cup and like be a person that could help somebody else. And now I, my cup is full, so now I'm feeling that I need to help somebody else because somebody gave me this gift and I need to pass that forward. So that's how I feel and that's why I became a coach, you know. Um, how, how about you, Hannah? Yeah, I think I think that's it. I think it's, you know, if, if, if you've got a passion for health and fitness and you want to help other people, this is just like the best platform to be able to do that. Right. Like, yeah. you know, yeah, cool. Um, so the second question I've 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 had um, is how the devil do you make time? Um, you know, I'm I'm really busy. I have lots going on. I've got a family. I already work things like that so um you know yeah no time i i am exactly the same and yeah i you know i i, I work um a 30 hour week i teach pio i've got a toddler um i've got a husband i you know i am really busy um 
I suppose I would always say, you know, how because people ask how much how much time does it, this take as well? And that's a question that I think I we covered a little bit yesterday, you know, in terms of actually it depends what your goals are. Right. If your goals are that you want to make this a full time business, then, of course, you're going to need to put more time and effort in. However, you know, jumping in and for me personally, and I'm Shelley, I'm, I'll, I'll come to you and ask you how you fit it in, you know, especially at first when you still had your 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 wedding flower business but for me it's all about finding those little pockets of time so I get up a little bit earlier and I do I you know I do I work my business and I do my personal development and I journal and I, I work on my business before I do my exercise in the morning and I find little pockets of time the way that I manage to still grow my business with only finding those small pockets of time because you don't want to detract from your family right I basically I plan my week I have I've actually got an example here I have this is a blank one I have a weekly planner which rate which goes from 5 a.m. until midnight and I literally find those pockets of time and you know sometimes babies don't nap right so yeah I uh, you know sometimes she doesn't nap or sometimes it's half an hour instead of you know the expected hour and a half so I just kind of juggle things about and I just find those little pockets of time how about you Shelley how did you do it when you had your businesses so, going as well so honestly what I can say to you is I had a big why I and I still had to I have a big why and my why is my family mm. and financial freedom and my why is my son okay and being available for my son so because that's my why I make the time you know I don't I, I wake up too I I when I first started I was I felt like I was overwhelmed and like that there was not enough time in a day and I said and I was I sat with my husband and I sat down with him and I said to him you know I don't understand how I feel why I feel like this and he says you know Shelly one thing you should do is start having your own time so start getting up earlier and start getting, the, you know, your business hours in and write down your business hours for the day. Yeah. You know what? That really, really helped me. Okay. Yes, I do get up at five o'clock in the morning. You know, I do all my business stuff that, you know, that I need to do before my son wakes up. Because when he wakes up, he's four years old, he wants my attention. And I feel that I can do a workout with him, which is not a problem. But to do my business stuff is something that I need to do before he wakes up. So yes, I wake up and I do that, you know, then I, I'm a mom when he gets up in the morning and then I'll work out with him there, you know, and then, you know, I'll schedule while he goes to school in the afternoon, I'll schedule a couple of hours for business hours. And then when he comes home from school, he's mine again, you know, and I learn to go around his schedule. And with Beachbody, when you become a coach, you know, we get, we have um, a sheet of paper that helps you define on what you need to do and what's the most important task to do to grow your business having that schedule has really helped organize me yeah. and has helped me you know grow my business how about, uh, Hannah, you too? Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's the great yeah. thing is there is a real focus. There's so much effort, time, consideration. You know, this business has been going for a long, long time now. Beachbody isn't yeah. a new company. And they have given us, you're right, the exact tools to say, right, when you then work your business, these are the activities that you do and this is what you've got to do every single day. There's no guesswork. There's no kind of like, yeah. oh, God, how am I going to grow my business today? You've got it all handed to you on a plate and then all the trainings and us as mentors and taking you through and helping you be a wellness influencer. You know, it's those five little tweaks and actually that's what progresses your business. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. And if you do those things that they tell you to do, you will keep growing your business. And you know what? When I first started, I did, you know, two hours, three hours. And then now I'm like, no, I want that six figure income. I want that you know, debt free income, you know, yeah. that's where I'm headed. So because that's where I'm headed, yes, I've doubled it up for myself, you mm -hmm. know, but mm -hmm. it's up to you to decide what is important to you. You know, sometimes you, you start, you hop in and you start dabbling and you start checking it out. You start seeing, okay, what is what that's going to work? What do you like and what you don't like? Or, you know, I just want this as a part-time business. I know a lot of coaches that have it as a part-time business and they are at that level because they've been doing it for two years.
yeah. for three years um, or whatever it is that they do, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. So um, the, the other thing that I get often asked is, well, I, I don't have any money at the moment. Like, you know, we mentioned yesterday that the package is 160 to get you started. And, you know, that's the only startup. There is no other costs associated with it. And it's the same price. I, I still get, you know, like, well, that's, you know, that's 160 pound. I don't have any money. What what sort of thing do you think you'd reply with that? Um, uh, uh, get my words. <laughs> Sorry, <that's> Shelley. <laughs> no worries, my dear. Well, one good thing is, guys. There's a huge deal going on this month, right? You know about that, right, Hannah? Yeah. That's twenty dollars off, right? Mm -hmm. So twenty dollars off for your health and fitness. Like, think about it like this. And this is what I was telling my sister the other day, and she's like, "Wow, I never even thought of it like this, Shelly." I said, "How much do you think it is to go to McDonald's to have a, a happy meal or like a, a Big Mac combo? How much do you think that is in Canada? It's almost twelve bucks. Yeah. Okay, twelve dollars." Every time you walk out the door of your house, how much money do you spend? I know I spend at least 20 bucks every time I walk out my out of my house. Yeah. Every time. So if you spend $20 on what crap, I don't even know. Like I know I buy, probably buy crap, you know, a toy for my son. A, if I run out of water, I grab a water. It's like you buy things that you don't really need. But you go out there because you're out of your house. You're spending money because you don't have that stuff that you that you need. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. So, you know, so if you think about it, $160, divide that by 31 days in a month. Okay. What is that? $6 a day? $6 a day. Can you buy a Starbucks for $6? You know? Like, yeah, I was, I used to buy Starbucks, you know? So if you think about $6 for a meal replacement, what healthy meal can you get for $6? And get a year program for Beach Body on the Mat. Yeah. Like, I tell people that all the time. I'm like, that is amazing. And number one, like you're getting on a health and fitness journey. That's number one. Number two, okay, you're going to be helping somebody else, okay? And the worst case scenario is that we give money back guarantee that you do not like the program. But that is something that I have never found anybody say to me, Shelly, I don't like it. Shelly, right. I don't want to do it. Shelly, like, you know? And where do you spend $160 to start a business for yourself? No, so that's very true. All startup investments, you know, if you go into a franchise, it's much more than that. You've got to buy the building. You've got to, you know, all the insurances and things like this. There's there's nothing like that, which is why I personally, I loved jumping into this opportunity. So when I first signed yeah. up as a coach, I was on maternity leave. I was getting zero money. I had absolutely no income. We were living off my husband's income only, so one income. Um, and, you know, I had to say to him, like, can I borrow some money? <laughs> um, which was a little bit embarrassing. But when I explained the opportunity and what it could do and, you know, the investment, and actually I earned that back in my first month. I earned £200 in my first month. And that covered the, the cost of me, me starting, getting 12 months access, having 30 days Shakeology and starting my own health, you know, my own health and wellness journey as a Beachbody coach. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's an investment in yourself, isn't it? It is an investment on yourself but think about it like this okay and I never thought of it like this until I was listening to one of the coaches and she said to me when you start a new job what do you spend on starting a new job yeah you're right this is yeah okay exactly. so if you start a new job right you have to buy outfits or clothing you need to buy I don't know tickets to go on the bus you need to buy gas for your car, a parking pass. You need to buy stuff. You need to invest still on this new job that you just applied for, that you just got. So any type of work that you are starting or, you know, pursuing on your own, you still got to invest on something. You know, I know when I started my wedding business, it wasn't $160. It was thousands and thousands of dollars. You know, rent, um, insurance you know, cars, staff, like mm. everything. And I had to find all the tools that I needed to bring my business to succeed. With Beachbody, we give you all the tools that has helped so many successful 
coaches, you know, grow their business. And there is nothing that you need to recreate here. You know, you're just following and leading by example from other coaches that are so, that did it and have grown their business and showing you exactly how to do the same way. Exactly the same way. Am I correct? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely. Uh-huh. Yeah. Definitely. So um, the next one that I, I've, I've had asked and this, I, do you know what? I was exactly the same. So I completely relate to this question. So someone said to me, well, I don't, I've, I've not really, I'm not really on social media. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not really that relatable. In fact, I'm a little bit boring. And, you know, so therefore, you know, doesn't have all that much confidence in thinking that this could be that this opportunity could work for her and I would say do you know what I I was exactly the same I had probably about 20 um 20 followers on Instagram I had probably a couple of hundred friends on Facebook all people that I mainly knew and you know I had no so I had no social media um you know uh, presentation Girl, you did not have any of that, and you no. have almost six thousand followers. I do, yeah, wow. now. So it just, you know, and but why didn't I? And you know, it, interestingly, so that's where I was when I started my beach body business, and I also I remember having this exact same conversation with my coach. Like, I haven't got a presence. Um, I'm boring. I'm just a stay. You know, at that point, I was on maternity leave, so I'm just a stay at home mum. I don't really do anything else. I've got this little baby that's about it there is nothing about me that is relatable like how is anyone gonna want to come on a journey with me because I am boring (laughs) and it took me a little while to realize that actually that exact thing is what makes me relatable yeah exactly you know exactly. and actually and so what did I start doing I started sharing my story sharing what was going on with Lila sharing what was going on with the dogs and my coach taught me about actually how I am relatable to other people and that's where we started and that's helped build up my confidence and that's grown my social media I mean it also we've got some really fabulous leaders who have taught us exactly how to you know how social media works and all of those sorts of things so that question that was absolutely me and you know what it's scary starting something new right like I was so overwhelmed and scared about jumping into this thinking I can't do it but I've started believing in myself and that is my motto oh it's moved off I believe in me that is my motto um yeah because you've got to believe in yourself but that takes time and I'm still working on that right so yeah you know but what about you Shelley does that does that relate to to you at all absolutely and I think that's why we connected because we pretty much have a a very similar story the two of us right and that's why we're part of the bigger team that we belong to is because we pretty much have the same kind of story when I started uh Beachbody I had 800 followers because of my wedding business that I had but when I changed over to Beachbody, I lost a lot of those followers, okay? I'm almost at 3,000 followers. I've only been a coach, okay, like I said, four months, okay? So I've been, been growing my business every month and every day. Yeah, I, sometimes I wonder if my story is, you know, and I was scared when I first went and did live. Or when I went and did a video of me talking, and I'm like, what is everybody else going to say about me? Girl, all I can tell you guys is read that book or do an audible about Girl, Wash Your Face. Okay? Because honestly, who cares what everybody else thinks? Who cares? That's what I say. And that's how I keep moving forward. And I don't worry about what everybody else has an opinion about me. Because Mm -hmm. that's their life and this is my life. I know that this has helped me significantly. And I know that by me stepping forward every single day, I get confidence every single day. And I'm not only showing myself that I can do it, I'm showing my, my son. You know, my big why of like, you can accomplish anything you want as long as you put your two feet in. So 
I know it's scary, you know, and it was very scary for me to start posting things and I wasn't used to doing all of that. But you know what? Every day that you do it, you get better at it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And and people also say to me, you know, oh, you seem so confident and da -da -da -da. I'm telling you for every confident person out there inside, yeah. they are the, the most insecure person, you know, and it's taken, you know, I'm not the most extrovert of people and people think I am that and this is how you have to be and I just want to tell you that you know there is coaches from every single walk of life every single yeah. age group every si single yeah. you know marital status circumstance background whatever yeah. like this opportunity is not just for a certain group of people and I'm telling you something for every you that is there thinking about you being boring or you not being relatable there are thousands and thousands of people out there that are exactly like you that feel exactly yeah. the same way and those are, those are your tribe and those are the people that need your help yeah Cool. All right. A couple more questions then that we've had sent over. So I've got a lady who's already a personal trainer um, and so already working in the fitness industry. So she's sort of like, oh, I'm not sure whether this is going to be, uh, you know, whether this is for me because I'm already a PT. Girl, Any I can tell you this is for you. The reason why I'm saying that is I have people I was before I became an event designer. I was in the fitness field. So I was a personal trainer. I was an aerobics instructor. I was an aqua fitness instructor. I did it all. Okay, I did that. That was a lot of evenings and weekends and crazy hours. Crazy, crazy hours. Okay, with that, you have your clients. You can transfer over your clients and helping them in this direction. And you can be doing this anywhere and anytime and any place. You know, um, I know quite a few people that have transferred transferred over you know they're, they're bringing their business with them because they're moving places and they don't want to lose their customers because they love them so much so they're bringing them over to beach body yeah right absolutely i think that's i mean you you know you used to be a pt right i'm a i'm also a, an instructor um i suppose also for me there's a limited number of people that i can help in my classes like i'm not a pt but i exactly. do instruct but you know i get that that's what actually someone else said to me you know i don't I am a PT, but there's only a certain number of hours, you know, business hours where people want to want to have personal training. And actually, this means that I can reach many more people and I'm not limited to just my local community. I, you know, this is this opportunity and you can help people in the whole of the US, the whole of the UK and the whole of Canada. Like that is a like just the idea that I can help more people than just 20 people that are in my class or a handful of clients every week. That for me, you know, you're in the PT industry and you're in the fitness industry because you want to help people. Right. Um, so, you know, this is a perfect way to do that. Yeah, but also think about it like this. All those master trainers that we're doing those classes with on Beachbody On Demand, that's what they do as well. That's what they do as well. They're personal trainers as well for the celebrity. They're personal trainers for other people they are. that want to get physically fit. So not only do they develop a program for, to help more people because they can't reach every single buddy, right? Yeah. They did this program. They also do it their personal training on the side so they've yeah. done both so think about it like that you know when you're deciding that if you want to do this think about what autumn does she trains so many people shanti trains so many people and she develops programs for beach body to help people succeed yeah absolutely and that's what i love so much about it it's it's you know these super trainers that are, you know it's not just yeah. random stuff is it you know they 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 beach body really invest a lot of time and effort and energy into all of the fitness all of the nutrition programs yeah. and they are absolutely Everything. world class yeah yeah because if you go anywhere else you're going to see thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars you know true very very true it's it costs between i think it it to cost between sort of 20 at the cheapest 20 to 50 pound an hour for a personal trainer um so you know i i get that and people sort of say you know but you if you're a personal trainer in the gym 
I've got a friend who's a personal trainer and the gym charges her um, for every hour that she uses the gym and all of those sorts of things. So the great thing is, is you don't have any of that as well. And actually, you know, getting people started on your journey and the commission and things like that. Actually, this can be a great, boy, um, you know, a, a booster to your business in a different sense um, and doing yeah. it all at home and not having to be in the gym 24 seven. Exactly. <laughs> cool. OK, um, so one more question. Um, and okay. then I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll have right into this place. Cool. I'll be two seconds. So, um, a couple of people saying, I haven't got any experience with beach body before I'm, you know, jumping in as a coach. How, how am I going to be able to help people do that? If I've not got that experience, this makes you accountable and not only accountable, but this gives you the experience. Like yeah. with all the training that we provide, you know, and you do it at your own leisure time. It's not like you need to walk out your door and go to a training session. You hop on your phone, go into bed, listen to a, somebody speak. You know, you read uh, personal development. Personal development gives you the confidence and gives you the helps you grow you to help other people. Absolutely. And I think, you know, sometimes people are a bit off put. You know, I said the other day I've known I've been doing Beachbody stuff since 2011. But actually, I've also got friends that, are, that have signed up as coaches. I call them friends because they are they're my friends and family. Um, we're all in this community together um, who didn't have any experience of Beachbody before. And that is absolutely not a prerequisite. Like I mentioned yesterday, you're jumping into an opportunity whereby you're starting working on you. You're getting to know you. you and people want to come on that journey with you. They don't necessarily want someone that's achieved all of their big goals no. and they're at their target weight and all of that sort of stuff. And people want to do that journey with you. And I think that that's what's the power of this in you jumping in and, you know, all of the knowledge and the know how that does not matter. You know, if you don't know, like, oh, which exercise you know what muscle group is this working and all of that sort of stuff that doesn't matter all you have got to want if you join as a, as a coach is to help other people that's it yeah. you've got to want to help yeah. other people and if that's you then that's why this opportunity is for you and in doing so it makes you accountable i'm in the best shape of my life now mentally and physically because of this opportunity because of beach body yeah. and everything it's done for me and you know what? Me too. And I'm getting there. You yeah. know, I'm not there 100%. Yeah. But what I could tell you is this. Just because I did my journey two years before I decided to be a coach, it doesn't mean that I have more knowledge about, about everything. No. The only knowledge that I have is at the workout. That's it. Yeah. Other than that, I didn't have any other knowledge. You know, I came in there with a clean slate. I didn't know what, I was, what, what to expect. I didn't know what, I, you know, I got the training. To learn how to do everything so it doesn't matter if you did it as yourself your journey or if you're starting now as a coach and doing your journey together it's actually better because you're learning everything at once yeah and you know you you have the opportunity that you have this amazing upline that we can help you with everything that you need so you know you're not just on your own see you later hello bye bye you know no we're here to help you and we want you to succeed with this business because we know what the great opportunities are with it right absolutely i couldn't agree more i think that's it it's the training it doesn't matter if you don't know the products and we are part of like we've both said like one of the top teams in the company and you know the amount of expertise there's always someone like i am crap at technology there is always someone that i can reach out to there's always someone that's got another strength where you might have a weakness you know what what it what's out there is that they're they're successful people leave traits of little tips and tricks out there how to grow your business so that's what our team does it keeps leaving little you know, apple seeds or a little seeds, you know, to keep growing your business, right? Absolutely. And that's what I love about this is you're not going it alone. You're definitely, definitely not going it alone. There is a great that that great community and that support, both in terms of bringing, you know, new people as 
customers but also the coaching community like oh my days it, it it has changed my life i would definitely class some of the people that i've met through beachbody as lifelong friends which might sound really really weird but i tell you what i speak to these ladies much more yeah. than i speak to most of my family and friends right and i have yeah, more in so common with them so do i so do i i feel the same way that you do and i feel like that they also you want to be around people that are like-minded like you and are on the same wavelength and path as you positive 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 people and where do you go to a job okay every single day that is positive and they help you work on your mind and your your you know your personal development like where do you go yeah because I, I did weddings and that was a positive place <laughs> happy 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 I'm getting married I'm starting my new journey you know but it, there wasn't about, oh, getting my mindset before I help this person, you know, getting my cup filled before I help this person. Yeah. You know, where do you go that makes you want to work on you first? Like where? Nowhere. This is the only place. And I can tell you by having my own business before and now doing this, I wish I did this 10 years ago. You know, I wish I started this 10 years ago. Yeah. I wish when I was on my weight loss journey a long time ago, before I even had me, then before I got into the wedding industry, you know, I go to the gym for hours at a time. I wish I found this then. I wish I took the step and did it. So that's my take on it. Yeah. Like that's what, how I feel. I feel so strong and positive about this, this, this uh, company. And, um, yeah, that's, yeah. That's all I could tell you because I love it so much. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm why we're here and why we do what we do, right? Like it's and it's and it is just amazing. Like, and we I would have never I, I did I you know I said on my on on my on my story on my first video I felt very lonely and actually this is something that has completely changed my life and I I you know people think I and I tell my family and friends this and they can see a massive difference in me I think they all think I'm a little bit bonkers especially getting up at five in the morning but yeah it's changed me for the better and actually you know my friends that came around yesterday they said gosh you are so considering what happened to me you know in October last year they can't believe how how you know how well I'm doing now and it's because of it's because of this company and all of the amazing community yeah. you know what absolutely like honestly I, I just finished reading the miracle morning yeah and if you if anybody gets a chance read that book or get the audible honestly it changes your life yeah all the personal development that you read or listen to because I listen to a lot more than I read okay uh, because I'm a busy mom, so you learn how to adapt things into your life, okay? Yeah. And I, it's making me a better mom, okay? I have anxiety. I have, you know, depression. And this has helped me, okay? I had clients telling me that they're off more of your, their medication because of this. Yeah. Working on your physical body, it also improves your mind. So right it, it so does it absolutely does and i couldn't agree with you more and it's just yeah it can do a lot for you and you know i think sometimes you've just got to take take a chance haven't you do something yep. do, make a change you know what? try something out give it a shot what you yeah, got to and lose that's, what, that's exactly what i said on my first video yeah. i didn't really know what i was getting into i just took a chance on me and i said to myself if I don't lose anything, oh, well, I'm at the same place. But if I just try it, why don't I just try it yeah. and see it? And that's wh what I did. And by me taking a chance on myself when I was at the lowest that I was at has actually made me a, such a better person today. So I'm so happy that I did that because I would probably be more like in the 300 pound range right now if I didn't do that. Yeah. Anyway, sir, I have to run out because yes. I have to go into this place. And um, I know you're probably going to finish it off. But yep. ladies, all I have to say to you all is, you know, take a chance on you and start something for you. You know, put your why out there and that why will help you grow anything in life. That's what I have to say. I couldn't agree more with you. And I think that's where we'll leave it. Like... 
So what we'll, what we'll do now is the coach that invited you in will reach out, see if you've got any other questions and then organize to have a conversation and get you going. Yep. Fab. All right, Han, have a perfect day. You too, my dear. And we'll see you soon. Take care, everyone. Bye, everybody. Bye.